hostiles. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Almost a year ago, late last fall, October-ish, the Florida Maquis was searching different locations in Antarctica and stumbled across what looked like the remains of something known as a mosasaur. Now that's what you see on your screen here. Those locations can be found if you go to the Florida Maki channel. Um, here's an actual image of that location. And not only did we find that particular site, but we found this one as well. And these were animals that were looked like to be frozen under the ice in time. What I found today is connected to the most recent discovery in what they call the Mertz-Ninnis Valley. And it looks like evidence of that civilization currently hunting these animals. That would be one question you would have to ask. Um... If this were the case, that there was some type of living society down there, what are they eating? Well, I think I might have figured that out. Ancient seafarers described sea serpents. And while a lot of them described something more akin to a giant squid, there were other stories about something like this. Huge, long, thick neck giant head, big teeth. Well, it's been confirmed that there are creatures that have lived that match that description. This particular one isn't a mosasaur. It's an elasmosaur. Now, these are all categories of a ancient marine reptile known as a plesiosaur. Much smaller versions have been seen for the last 400 years in uh, well, Lake Champlain, Nessie, um, all of those different reported uh, sites. Those are all animals somewhere around 8 to 10 feet long. This thing's 14 meters long. 
this thing was one of the baddest ever to swim. And a neck long enough to snake up out of the water without revealing the body, making it appear as if it were some type of a serpent. And here's a scale, just to give you an idea of how big and how mean this thing would have been. Now, even as big and mean as whales are, ancient man hunted whales. All the way back to the Romans, the ancient Asian cultures all went out and harvested these very large creatures for their oil. Their oil was prized for a very long time. Even to this day, the Japanese still do it. So the idea that a culture living in Antarctica would be doing this would fall right in line with history. Now, this is the picture that I found that I want you guys to focus on. Because I found something down there that once you see it, you'll never be able to unsee it. This is the picture that I was just showing you here on the right. I want you to look over here on the left by this giant pool of blood. Science describes this creature as being 14 meters long from nose to tail. I'm going to measure this right in front of this cave for you. Let me bring up the ruler real quick and bring that picture back. There we go. All right, I'm going to measure this in meters. One second. Okay, there we go. Starting here. And around the head. 13.61 meters. When I first saw this location, I was looking at it backwards. This part up here, by the words, I thought that was the head. And that this was the tail. And I thought, is that some kind of winged jellyfish or some kind of snake with wings? Or I was looking at it backward. Down here is the head. This one's actually a little bit bigger. This is closer to 16 meters, really. And if you're asking, well, where are the flippers? Look at the blood. Clearly, that would be the first thing, the easiest thing to remove from the body to eat. And looking at it in relation to the size of a man, can you imagine how long that would feed a man? Quite some time. Now, you're going to have to ask the question, well, what, if they're hunting them, where, how are they doing it? Where, where is this going on? Let me clear this out and show you guys something. Now, oh, by the way, this is what I've labeled a Lasmosaurus butcher site. Not only is this one here, but look up here. There's another one here. And what looks like the remnants of two of them, one here and one here. And while I thought maybe this was just um, a shadow, this could just be the remnants. This Because you can see the ribs. You can see what might be left of a flipper here. When you look at this whole site, there's blood everywhere and there's evidence for these animals. There's also, once again, more footprints. But let me show you where they're getting them. And oh, by the way, here's the crash site. What I've alleged to be a thousand foot long crash site. Would make sense that this would be, you know, you'd probably branch out and move through the region. But you would probably still stay very close to the vessel if in that cave that it's created it's in any level of uh, shape at all I'm sure they're using it cannibalizing it something let me take you down to the coast where of course you would think these things would be found and lo and behold believe it or not I'm going to go in order kind of counterclockwise HFVI stands for Hunting Fishing Site, or VI-6. 
all along this coast there are these darkish, dark reddish stained areas near the water. Here's two of them. Here's another one. And you can almost, almost see a human image here. Here's a massive one. There's two sites here and another site here and clearly something up on the ice. And there's a great many of them I haven't labeled. Here's a very large site here. All sorts of red and yellow. It looks like there's this frozen over area here where they might have pulled something up through. Almost. And if you get Google Earth Pro, you can zoom this in for yourself. Let me see if I can... It looks like they may have something up on the ice right here. There's blood over here. But that might have been just where they drained it out. Because that would, of course, be something you would have to think about doing, getting most of the blood out. Because that would contribute to a lot of the weight, having to move it the 25 miles back to base. And remember, we're talking about giants here. We're talking about incredibly large, incredibly powerful creatures. Another site here. They're just all over down here. So it correlates. The species lives down here, confirmed. We have the shape in the exact same size as it is have confirmed to have lived. You add in the evidence of the roads and streets under the ice, everything else, you put all of this together, and I don't know how anybody could definitively say that this is just snow and ice. I'm going to show this one more time so that people can get a real close look at this. Okay, this is about as close as you can get before it goes down to ground level. There's the shadow. I guess I got to pull out just a little bit here. And this is what science describes as what an elasmosaur would have looked like. There's the blood, there's tracks. Clear evidence of activity here. This is an area known as the Mertz Ninnis Valley. Don't be surprised if in a matter of months you hear something in the media about something going on in this region. And I will leave that there. And I will, of course, give you these locations. And Elasmosaurus is spelled just like it sounds. E-L-A-S-M-O-S-A-U-R-U-S. Like, share, subscribe. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that 
if you sign up for an entire year and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Green King.